But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Man does not live on bread, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. So, in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. Whoever has will be given more, whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? If you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Only in his hometown, among his relatives and in his own house is a prophet without honor. Make a, a tree good and its fruit will be good or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad, for a tree is recognized by its fruit. Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Be careful not to do your acts of righteousness before men, to be seen by them. Nothing outside a man can make him unclean by going into him. Rather, it is what comes out of a man that makes him unclean. Give to everyone who asks, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the other and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? What is impossible with men is possible with God. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed, a man's life does not consist of the abundance of his possessions. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep.
I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first among you must be the slave of everyone else. For even the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything, except to be thrown out and trampled by men. But when you pray, go into your room, close, and pray to your Father, who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And so, I tell you, keep on asking, and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Come. Follow me and I will send you out to fish for people. You have said it. 
and in the future, you will see the Son of Man seated in the place of power at God's right hand and coming on the clouds of heaven. If any of you wants to be my follower, you must turn from your selfish ways, take up your cross, and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake and for the sake of the good news, you will save it. Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the Law and the Prophets. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.